Sarah from group 5. So today we are doing experiment 19, which uh, we will study radiation. So in this experiment, we will do three parts. The first part is we will see Stephen Boltzmann's constant. The second part, we will see inverse square law for heat. And the third part, we will see emissivity of radiating surface. Let me explain the equipment for this experiment. Here is a radiation heat transfer rig. You can see T1, black surface temperature, T2, gray surface temperature, T3, polished surface temperature, T4, the heater surface, and radiometer indicator. This one is a heated surface. It's, a, it's very hot, so please don't touch it. And here is a target plate. This is a radiometer where you receive the radiation heat, trans heat transfer. And here is a ruler where it's a distance from the heat it's a phrase the radiometer. And here there are three surfaces here. First, this one is a black body surface, a grey surface, and a polished surface. For the first part, for Stephen Boltzmann law, we first have to put the radiometer at 30 centimeter. Then we set the temperature to 250 degrees Celsius. And when the temperature is stabilized, we take the readings of T1, T4, and also the radiometer. And then after the readings are taken, we repeat the experiment up to 400 degrees Celsius. For part 2 of the experiment, which is the inverse square law for heat, we have to set the temperature at a constant temperature of 400 degrees Celsius. To measure the intensity of the radiation, we have to adjust the radiometer at different distances from 300 mm up to 80 mm. For every different distance, we have to take the readings of T1, T4, and also the radiometer. First, we have to adjust it to 20 cm. First, we have to put the black body surface. So we have to record the T1 and T2 as a ambient temperature and T4 and radiometer indicator. Next we replace the black body surface with a uh, grey surface plate. Then we record the T2 as a grey surface uh, plate and then the T3 as an ambient temperature and T4 and radiometer indicator. So the last one Place it with a polished surface plate. So then we record T3 and T4 and radiometer indicator, and the last one T1 as an ambient temperature.